we're going to be doing a concrete pillar repair. Keep watching the video, we'll show you how we do it. How's it going guys? It's Jeff Lepard from DoItAllSealing.com. On this channel, we do driveway sealing, asphalt repair, paving, and much, much more. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So we're ready to get started. Here's the pillar that we're gonna be working on. Now, if you see, it's uh, the aggregate, the concrete aggregate is exposed. Uh, they've previously tried to do some repairs with uh, a cheaper product that didn't hold up. Uh, it's surface already been prepped for me. I'm just gonna go ahead and use uh, two products. Today I'm gonna be using VersaSpeed and Sika123. If you check out the other videos, you'll also notice that I've used Versa, uh, sorry, Sika123 in the past uh, with great results. VersaSpeed is really good. It's for a little bit deeper patches and it's mixed with water. You can work after, like you can put a second coat of something else, such as Sika 123, after about 30 minutes of using VersaSpeed. It adheres and dries very fast. So the first step we need to do is we need to mix the VersaSpeed and we're gonna fill in the uh, really deep pockets here and uh, let that dry up. Give it a mix. So we've mixed the Versa Speed. When you're mixing this, you can mix it to your desired consistency, whether you want it a little more thin or a little more thicker. Uh, that's up to you. And just know that once you mix it, you've got uh, you got to work with it fairly quickly. So to apply the Versa Speed onto the uh, pillar, I'm going to be using this rubber uh, trowel here and uh, rubber float. Just going to get some of it on there. I'm just going to press in. It's a little bit more soupier than I uh, than I wanted, but I can uh, I can touch that up. If you need to thicken it up, you can uh, you can just add more versus speed to your mix and uh, remix. So we've allowed enough time for the versus speed to dry. We've actually let it dry for over an hour. We're ready to start applying the Sika one two three. So I'm going to go ahead and start mixing that. Now before you mix it. You want to take the uh, the jug and you want to give it a really good shake to make sure that it's thoroughly mixed. And uh, of course, if you read the directions, you're going to pour a little bit or the quantity that you need into a bucket, and then you're going to start putting the the concrete mix into that and mixing that thoroughly. Okay, Just pour a little bit in. and thoroughly mix it for a few minutes. Okay, so it's thoroughly mixed. Uh, we've actually made it a little bit of a thicker mix so that I can control and uh, evenly spread that out. So I'm just gonna use the uh, rubber float again, get a good amount on there, and I'm just gonna push it in and spread it. And I'm gonna this time coat the entire area that I'm gonna be repairing. So the Sika 123 is now applied onto the pillar. We've let that dry for about 15, 20 minutes now. We're going to be doing a sponge finish on here. So if you're also interested in getting these products, the VersaSpeed or the Sika 123, I'm going to leave a link down below so you can do just that. So this is already dry um, for about 15 minutes. 
Now I'm gonna do a sponge finish. I'm just gonna get the sponge and get it uh, a little bit damp. And then I'm just gonna do it a little bit of a circ circular motion. And uh, that's just gonna smooth the Sika one, two, three out and any imperfections. And then at that time, after that's dry, I can see if I need any more coats of Sika. So that's it. The final coat of uh, Sika has been applied. That's just going to uh, harden up and it'll be, uh, it'll be fine. So just want to thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, bash that bell to turn notifications on for all of the upcoming videos. Give us a thumbs up and like our video. Share our video and leave a comment. And we'll see you next time from dudeallceiling.com. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.